Hey, what's up, everybody? Let's talk a little basketball here. The season almost over in college hoops. It's been a rough year. Cancellations, the pausing of team activities, and no fan engagement. No fault of the coaches or the players. They're dealing with the hand they've been dealt. But we're getting maybe a small little glimpse, a ray of hope of a return to something that might look like normal. This weekend, North Carolina A&T hosting North Carolina Central in a doubleheader. And guess what? They're going to be selling tickets, man. Now, this is usually the game of all games, and sheer just kind of feels like a game. But the fact that actual students, people in the community, they're not going to be able to fill up Club Corbett, but there will be tickets sold. Now, this is based on North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper in his latest order when it comes to the pandemic. The Aggies are going to be allowed a capacity of 775 fans in there. 400 of those tickets are going to go to students. Now, the Aggie men, they're the team to beat in conference. Now, there's a couple people that might have something to say about that. When you look at Norfolk State, when you look at Morgan State, fam, you might sneak up on you. In Tallahassee, they're definitely going to get you. But despite the records and everything, that has gone on this season, it all comes down to winning the MEAC tournament in Norfolk. Winner of that gets to go to the big bubble style NCAA tournament this year in Indianapolis. I heard you say it the other day, and it's, it's the truest thing. This season has been a bad AAU basketball tournament. If you ever played in a bad AAU basketball tournament, this is exactly what this season is. And, you know, it's tough, man. I, 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 our young men, like we're a basketball program that has to go through the necessary steps in order to be good in March. That's what we've always hung our hats on. But through this pandemic and this COVID and so much time off, we've circumvented every kind of, every step possible. And so here we are. And so we're not, we're really just not a good basketball team. We're not in shape. We, we, we never had the opportunity to get in con tip, top tier conditioning to be able to play a game. Um, we can't execute. Um, we, we're just struggling, right? We look like a team that's only practiced 10 times within the whole year, and that's what we've, we've done. But I told our, our team, just come out and keep fighting. And when you fight, you give yourself a puncher's chance. You know, sometimes you can close your eyes and just connect. And so that's what we're looking to do. We're, we're the fighter that's not polished right now. But we're just going into the ring like Rocky Balboa in his, in, in his early movies and just put his head down and just swing, and hopefully we can connect. That's North Carolina Central University head coach Lavelle Moten. He's going to be our special guest on the Fast Break this weekend. You can catch that on Aspire TV. The first run is Sunday morning at 10 a.m. After that, later on in the evening, you can catch it on our YouTube channel, and it'll be there forever. Uh, one of the things that he talked about was the fact that this season, man, has just been one of those years. But still, if they can get to the NCAA tournament, it will be a win. Now, usually the Eagles are in the mix every season this year. That is not the case, but hope is still alive for everyone. The Eagles are sitting at four and six right now, and whew, man, it is what it is. You are what your record says you are. No one cares about excuses and reasons, even if they are valid at the end of the day. Now, Virginia, the state of Virginia is operating under a different Set of rules, protocol, they're looking at things different than North Carolina. Each state looks at things differently. So there are not, there are not going to be any tickets sold to the MEAC tournament in Norfolk. Uh, they will allow a few guests uh, from each team, uh, but the capacity is going to be at 250 people there in Norfolk. So here's our takeaway. Aggie Eagle <laughs> this Saturday. It's going to be a doubleheader. It'll mean something. There's going to be some fans in Club Corbett, a little bit of energy, not a packed house, no fans allowed at the MEAC tournament. But somebody, despite a year they'll probably want to forget, will still get a chance to go to the NCAA tournament. All right, that's Hoops for now. I'm Tali Carr in Atlanta. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you guys later. Oh, a hoop. You want a hoop? Let's go out on a bucket. <laughs>